All right, so as you guys can see here, we have our number line, or double number line rather, and up at the top we have um, one followed by 10, 220, 330, so on and so forth. Uh, and this one we already have the conversion built in, so we have centimeters and millimeters there. Um, and I have my makey makey hooked up, um, but mainly I just wanted to describe that you could use this however you see fit in your classroom. You could use this as a mathematical model that you wanted to display understanding. Um, and one of the cool features about this way is that even after you're done teaching it and modeling it, it would actually be still a permanent fixture in your room. You could use this like as a anchor interactive wall type of thing and even put it outside your classroom so other people could see it, even in additional classes. Or you could have your students design something with this. They could actually teach each other using a model um, and you could actually hear their thinking. So this would be a great way in terms of assessment to actually demonstrate their understanding and you could use it that way. And I'm just going to show you how I would use it here. So in this particular case, we're going to be focusing on two. So I have these flaps that when I lift up, you will see a different ways that these numbers can be utilized. Um, so they're still there in case students need hints, but they actually still have to think about it. So not all the answers are right in front of them. And then different ways to represent number um, and then a visualization in terms of uh, picture. So it's consistent throughout. Um, then I would just hit the bottom part here and you'll kind of hear me speak. So you can see when I actually press this button here that it's going to um, allow me to go over conversion. So something that may be a difficult concept for some students to understand, if I select, uh, let's just say, two centimeters, it's going to tell me what my measurement is in millimeters as well, um, which is something that can be a difficult concept to grasp. And you can change this. So I'm going to stop that one there, and now I'm going to just select a different one as I move along. Going to also go deeper with number and show greater understanding and complexity and show zero decimal two um, to also be illustrated as 20%. And we can continue. And even mention that zero decimal two can be written as a fraction in two over ten, showing that these all are occurring on the same place on our number line. Finally, for our visual learners, we can actually show um, visual imagery to show them a tangible example of what this actually means um, so they have a greater appreciation of number and they can see what it means in everyday context. So here we have a photo of tenths of a pizza. Um, which so we'll stop it there. I hope this makes sense and I hope that you guys um, might see some benefit and use it in your room. Thanks, everyone.